sitting there at the start of the second half thinking, okay, this is this is what we're going to run. And next thing you know, you're you're not getting calling plays because uh, you've got touchdown return for uh, How about that? special teams. Yeah, that was phenomenal. You know, we came in the locker room, uh, said to the kids, okay, we just scored right before half. We're going to get the ball back. This 14-point deal, I mean, you talk about it all the time as coaches. It's like that swing of 14 points, if you can do it, you know, score on the final possession of the first half and then score on the first possession of the second half, massive, massive. And, uh, and it, we didn't have to go on offense. <laughs> we got it done, didn't have to play. So um, huge, check the goal off. Yeah. Is Waz going to need to start to ask him for a higher salary with the success he's having on, on special teams? I think so. You know, he kept nudging me up in the box. He's like, hey, man, you know, you got to put in a word for me with Gundy. And I said, I will, man. I'll <laughs> but I'll take it, you know, seven, however we get it, whether the defense collects it or our special teams collect it. You know, uh, I know our offense gets a lot of credit for it, but, but um, you know, it's awesome having, having so many different playmakers and guys that can take the football and put it in the end zone, whether it's on offense, defense, or our special teams today. After Spencer's interception, you go right back with a deep shot. Was that purposeful trying to get him to move on to the next player? It it was. We're not going to ball up. We're going to we're going to play ball. You know, I think we got into um, our ten personnel set and wanted to get aggressive with it and wanted to play as fast as we could. Wanted to get back to how, kind of how we had moved the ball in the first series um, and wanted to play some tempo. Um, it just so happened that we got the shot like that and uh, worked out. How much of that was the mental the mentality of that? A carryover from the Big 12 title game because I remember you saying after that in the second half of that game, you guys, you know, you made the comment of we're gonna, you know, leave nothing on the on the playbook. How much of was that kind of you feel maybe a, a you know mindset carryover to this one? A lot, a lot. You know, we just didn't want to have this one just slip from you. You know, if, if if you lose it, man, lose it being aggressive, lose it taking shots, lose it pushing it down the field, being who you are, and we're an open, spread open team that's gonna try and score as many as we can, you know, and, and that's what we wanted to do. Now, we don't want to be ridiculous and careless with the football, and there were times, I mean, Gundy at the end, he's like, yeah, man, let's just get three out of this thing, make it a two-possession game, and, you know, no harm, no foul, we'll just run the ball here and kick a field goal. And we've got great kickers, great specialists, and, and we're able to put it away, but, but um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a big deal for us to, you know, stay aggressive and stay true to who we are, and, and so far, so good. Coming out of the gate, though, you, there was a lot of short and intermediate stuff, quick hits. How much of that was to bait them, or how much was it just to allow Spencer the opportunity to, to get passes away without getting the pressure we on them? We weren't really sure what they were going to play. Um, I didn't know if they were going to try and come out and challenge us at receiver, or if they were going to play cover two or whatever. So it, just, it was chock full of RPOs, things like that. Um, that gave the quarterback a chance to either hand it, spit it, you know, do his thing. And, and really, um, if you were going to ask me, you know, what I would love to see, and so I'm so, you know, what would you love to see in the, in the, in the first series of the game? Um, I think it was the newscasters that asked me, um, and uh, the guys that did the game today. And uh, I told them, I said, I'd love to see about a 10 play methodical drive down the field uh, resulting in a touchdown. That would be perfect for us because we'd get a feel of how they want to play us the rest of the day. And um, and that's what it was. I think it was 15 plays or something like that. So we'll take it right out of the door. Shoot. What went through your head when Ollie put the ball on the ground and then when you see Spencer Superman in there? To Give me another running back. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> But it's okay. It was a learning experience for the young guy. He knows it. He came right up to me after the game. We got in the locker room. Coach, my bad, but you guys have been telling me about it. And, you know, he's a young guy. He's a true freshman. Super talented. Otherwise, he wouldn't be playing for us as a true freshman. Uh, he's going to be a great one here. It was a fantastic uh, learning opportunity for him. And, and fortunately for us, we got the ball back. What did you see from Dominic today? Toughness. Toughness. Kid runs downhill. He did exactly what we challenged him to do, which is put his pads down, run behind him, you know, make holes if there weren't any, take care of the rock, dive over the pile. He did that on the, on the one big set that we had in the goal line and just wasn't denied, you know, some of those short yardage uh, situations, and he was able to punch it forward. Um, or he was able to shorten that gap, so now we had, you know, second and three and not second and five or six, you know, just because of a little second effort. So it was good. On the dive over the pile, is that an actual call play or is that just him reacting to what's That's him reacting. I mean, that, well, the play of the dive was him, okay, but 
um, or us or the call, um, him going, okay, hey, you know, I've got to get there, you know, and just going up over the top, and that's all done. It's great. He just kind of took it to him down on the goal line, too. I, mean, I know everybody talks about the game in December, but it's a big contrast being able to just punch it right in. It was better. It was better. You know, we're certainly not there, but I, I know this. To, to be able to make some plays against that defensive front gives me a lot of confidence moving forward through the rest of, through the, rest of the conference.